In this video, we'll be looking at how to migrate or clone a WordPress website with a free plugin called Migrate Guru. Migrating or cloning WordPress websites is something I get asked a lot about and it shows up a lot inside of the video comments. And well, I remember when I first started off in WordPress and started migrating websites, what kind of a challenge it was. But this tool here, this might be one of the easiest ways to do this. So I'm going to show you how and walk you through the whole process. Also at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a story on how Migrate Guru saved my in one of the biggest websites that my agency has built and the most complicated migration that we ever had to do. All right, let's check it out. To show you how this works, we're gonna be migrating this website to a blank WordPress website that I have set up right here. So this website, this is a smaller site. This is something I built for an older tutorial. What we're gonna to do to get started is go back to your dashboard and then we're gonna go over to the plugins. Over here, we're going to add a new plugin and then from here, go and search for Migrate Guru. And it's gonna be this one right here. Let's activate it. And now I'm gonna go on my other website that I'm gonna be migrating to and do the same exact thing. So we're gonna be just adding the same plugin to both of your websites. Let me go ahead and install that one. Now I'll activate this. And let me go here. So I'm going to migrate from this site. So I want my main site to clone to the blank website. From here, go ahead and put in your email and then select on migrate. And you're gonna to come to another page and this is gonna be on Blog Vault's server right here. Everything goes through their server and you might notice it's under Blog Vault. And that is because it is all the same company, the same brand. They're the same team that makes WP Remote, that makes Malcare, and they have a very good reputation inside of WordPress. Now you're gonna see all the common hosting companies right here. You can select on them, but personally, I only use one option, and this is going to work across any hosting that you are using, and that is other hosts. So just go here to select it. We're gonna keep things very, very, easy now right here you have the migration key and this is what you need to get now let's go to the other website and this is where we're going to be migrating to so this is our blank website right here and we are going to clone our other website on this site so from here go to your migration key we're just going to select on copy the key go back over here and paste in the key it's really that simple, all right? Now you are gonna see other options right here. There's one that I do wanna point out that is important to understand, and that is gonna be the source website password protected. Sometimes when we are building a website on our server, it is not ready to go live yet and we could password protect it with our host. Well, this is where we're going to put in that information because if your website is password protected, it is being blocked from being seen live. Well, then this is not going to work. It'll get blocked inside of the migration. So that is where we're going to be using these advanced options, especially this one. If your website is password protected for right now, Nothing is password protected, so I'm just going to click on migrate. It's going to do its thing right here. And then what's going to happen next is I'm going to get an email. And the email is going to tell me the migration process has begun. And then it comes to the next screen, which is basically it is now doing its thing with the migration. I'm not going to hold you hostage. I'll come back to you when it's finished. And there we go. It is completed. And this is a screen that we want to see. Now, this took about took about four or five minutes, but it's a very small site. And well, depending on the size of your site will depend on how long it will take. I found around average for my type of normal sites is usually around 15, 20, 30 minute mark. But I have had major websites migrated with this that have, well, well, check the story at the end of the video because we have one website that took almost two days, but was a successful migration. Now let's go back over here to my to our site that we migrated on you see it asked for the password and let's go to visit the front end 
and we could see that it went through the migration was a success and again i did get another email letting me know that the migration successfully went through so you know when you do start your migration start it set it up you see that it's working go take a break get some sunshine maybe jump to another task and come back and just wait for your email to come through i really like the fact that they do send those now sometimes these don't always go through i've used this tool a lot now in the last year or so so i have had situations where it did not go through successfully and every time i found it was due to something blocking it uh mostly inside of cloudflare so i would suggest to turn off your cloudflare if you do have that activated and one more thing is when you change the url the login url from wp admin i always change mine as just one of my security habits that i have uh but by changing it i found that that also sometimes gave me an unsuccessful migration. So make sure you have it on WP admin, you know, the default a login URL and prevent anything from blocking. And if you do have any other challenges then drop a comment and we'll see if we could help out really quick though, before we wrap this up, I just want to share uh, some of the things that I look for after I do a migration. So let me go back here into the site. This is a site that I migrated to. This is my new site, my clone site. One of the things I always do is I go to my settings, to my permalinks, and I want to flush them because sometimes not all of the link structures uh, get updated. This is a way to make sure that you update them because look at we have different URLs. This one is Lightbox Tuts 01, uh, and then this one right here is going to be Migrate Insta WP. So we want to flush these simply by saving it. All you got to do is save it about two or three times, and then it'll correct all of the permalinks on the new cloned migrated site. One more thing, really quick, that I want to share that's really important when using this is because it goes through blog vault server it has to be on live site so if you are using something like a local host like what i got here well you're going to have to enable the live links on it and i've been using the wordpress uh local hosts a lot more lately it's just really fast to use i really dig this but we do have the sharing options to turn your website live for a limited amount of time so make sure to do that as well if you're building on a local environment well that's it i hope this helped out drop comments if you got questions i left links to my great guru inside of the description but now really quick i want to share a story because i really want to give my great guru uh thanks for getting me out of a very difficult situation we created one of the biggest websites that we've ever built this was a project for a news publication company the biggest one inside of myanmar and they had the biggest database that i've ever seen they had blog posts going all the way back to 1993 we're talking about hundreds of thousands of blog posts in multiple languages so by the time we finished building the website the database was it was somewhere around 80 90 gigabytes it was massive is it, it was really big so we tried migrating to push it live but no method that we tried will work. Even the old school duplicating cloning files or pushing everything live inside of the server. The hosting company on a dedicated server couldn't do it. It would just fail. It was too heavy. And definitely the other plugins that I use for migrations, they couldn't even come close to handling it. It wasn't until we use Migrate Guru. Now, Migrate Guru for a normal website will take five, 15, 20 minutes to migrate. For this one, we let it run for almost two days. Like we set it up just like what I showed you inside of the video and just let it run. It did not stop. But after two days, we got that email that the migration has been completed and it worked. It worked flawlessly. All the links were working. Everything was done. And I have to tell you that this week was one of those weeks where myself, my lead dev, members on the clients team we did not sleep much that week it was just one of those very stressful weeks it happens especially in large projects especially at this scale but 
with Migrate Guru, we're able to deliver. That was a tool that helped us take the project to the finish line. And I want to share that because I want to be able to also give thanks to Migrate Guru for helping us out with that project. Well, that's it for this video. If it did help you, don't forget to do that good YouTube stuff, you know, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them inside of the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you inside of the next one.